I think a lot of people yesterday when that verdict came down, I'm among them, my first reaction was, wow, they'll, they'll actually hurt us. Like oh, they yeah. would they would execute us, me, I'll just say, yeah. speak for myself, and there would be an MSNBC panel of former federal prosecutors telling their yeah. audience that I deserved it, and they'd be laughing. And the Lincoln Project would send out a, you know, congratulatory tweet. And I was like, wow, this there's a, there's sort of a lack of humanity. There's a coldness. There's an evil under all of this that I think I underestimate. Yeah, there's there's an evil under all of that that you were just watching that we should not underestimate. But what the hell is he talking about? Tucker Carlson for a very long time was given way too much credit for his intellect. And I know that it's difficult to really assess from what he says how intelligent he is because he doesn't mean literally anything that he says. He's one of the most dishonest people in political communication. But he said there, I watched the verdict where he was found guilty of some class E felonies for fraud that he definitely committed. And that convinced Tucker Carlson that the Dems will kill Republicans. They'll kill Tucker Carlson, a guy who could not wish more that he was in the daily like political zeitgeist. He so wishes that he could be that victim on a daily basis. We barely even talk about him anymore on this show because unfortunately for him, he's just not that significant. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Listen, in order for the damage report to keep on going, we need viewers like you to become a member on YouTube. Can you click the join button on YouTube today? Thank you. And the attempt to play the victim is so over the top. Again. This is a guy who's perfectly comfortable with political violence. He inspires as much stochastic violence as he as he possibly can. But implying that if there's ever any legal consequences when you have actually broken the law means that we would kill commentators, dear Lord. But that said, on the same day, I believe that he's saying that to Don Jr. Take a look at what's happening on Tim Pool's show. I'll put it this way, should Democrats be in jail? No question. When Donald Trump gets elected, should he start locking them up? No question. Should there be lists of Democrats that need to go to jail? 100%. And the reason for that is they, they committed crimes. We need to make sure that when Donald Trump wins, we've got an attorney general, a deputy attorney general, a head of the CIA and the FBI. Uh, Cash Patel would be fantastic. We can have for attorney general, there's some names floating around. And then they can start uh, uh, having their investigators and, and the feds issuing subpoenas, pulling up evidence. And with real evidence, bring them to judges for warrants. Then these people can spend three three years of their lives fighting tooth and nail for the crime against the uh, the government for crimes they committed, and we can prove. Yeah. And the reason why we put them on trial is that we can show the whole world we will uncover what you've done. We will make sure everyone knows, and you will be held accountable for it. Not just jail; they should get the death penalty. You know, we actually used to have the punishment for treason in this country. <laughs> Yeah, so that was actually where the stream ended. Seems like a suspicious place to end after she calls for Democrats to receive the death penalty for not even vaguely asserted crimes, just for something. We'll find something, we'll find real evidence. Whole bunch of Democrats have done stuff, obviously, we all know that. I can't cite a single person, crime, or piece of evidence, but we should lock them up. No, actually, we should kill them, and then the stream ends. So again, as Tucker Carlson is implying that Donald Trump being found guilty of crimes he definitely committed means that we'll kill Republicans, they're publicly calling for the death of Democrats. And Tim Pool, you know, he's not gonna blurt it out in exactly the way as Laura Loomer. He's slightly more insane than that, but he's not much more intelligent. That's why he's like trying to talk fast. He's trying to do the Ben Shapiro thing. And he's trying to like cite offices of the bureaucracy as if that lends credence to his argument. Like, you know, obviously we have to have Cash Patel and we have to have the head of the CIA as if that has anything to do with domestic crimes that Democrats would be committing. And we'll find, we'll do the investigation and we'll find specific evidence. Would, would you like to put forward one of those? Does Is he aware of James Comer's now two year long investigation into Joe Biden and the Biden family that has turned up absolutely bupkis? Like, look, if the Democrats have committed crimes, investigate them. And by the way, I think that the law is set up in, in, in a lot of ways to cover up for crimes that are being committed. I think the vast majority of campaign finance is open bribery. But they don't have a problem with that. Tim Pool doesn't have a problem with that. He's perfectly happy with the elites being able to collect and spend millions or billions of dollars. Perfectly fine with that. But this is their approach. We know we want to get the Democrats. Let's look and maybe, maybe we'll find something. It is exactly what they accuse the Democrats of doing. That is what they're promising. That's the best they've got.
And for him, it would be enough, I guess, to lock up a bunch of Democrats for crimes he can't identify. But Laura Loomer wants blood, she wants heads to roll. And so look, those are the people that are making the intellectual case for Donald Trump. He's not necessarily on with them in every case in interviews, but his son literally was with Tucker Carlson right there. Members make a difference here at TYT. You help make the show happen and we see you in the chat with your loyalty badge. Click the join button to become a member today.